Welcome to today's Practice Strokes. And what I'm going to be sharing with you is a new um, set of stencils that I have. And these are fun stencils. They are butterflies and um, butterflies and dragonflies on this one. So I don't know if you can see. There they are, different shapes. All right. So what I want to share with you is what I'm working on today. We have ways to draw an outline. And this is what happens when you make a muddy mess. And I'm showing you how to not do that. Okay. So this is how it is when it's stenciled um, here, stenciled. This is when you use the stencil to draw the shape with a pencil through the stencil. And then I can do my own thing. I also wanted to show you that I did it on wood. And so when you when I did it this, I stencil, which I'm gonna show you, I stencil the shape. I couldn't use white because we're on white. So today I'm using white though. And then it leaves you the spaces where you know where to add extra colors and white along the edge, orange in here. And then you could put a little white detail inside of it if you want. So, and then when that's totally dry, then you can lay the stencil on and you can do, if you do a really good job of stenciling, you leave a nice detailed black lines. All right. So I've done the same thing with my Be Kind stencil. So look how detailed the little legs are. And all that happens real quick in two steps. The first step was yellow and uh, yellow in here and white in the wings. And then when you put the stencil on top, you get um, just black over that again. And it gives you all that detail. So how fun is that? Um, I also, on these, I wanted you to see that you could stencil, for instance, if we were doing these as ornaments, these are sun catchers. But if you do them as ornaments, you can stencil on the background this and on the front you can do um uh christmas design like look i did this on the bigger piece this is all gallery glass so this could hang on a colored wall or, or a wallpaper wall or in the window and it looks really awesome okay so this one to show you and they're called gallery glass so this is what it looks like on our site if you go to onestro.com you're going to get three of these. They're very inexpensive. So three of these in a package. So we have round. These are both ovals. I didn't have a round one here. Um, so we have round ones, ovals, and octagons. All right. So they hang. I can still put little flowers and stuff on here, but I'm just concentrating on showing you how quick you can do a butterfly that's fun. And um and the surfaces, all right? So uh, you would go to either surfaces on my website or gallery glass on the website. And um, just to let you know, there's a film on it, on these big ones, and it's on both sides. So you peel that off before you paint, okay? So just wanted you to share, I'll share that with you because it's so much fun. These just have a plastic that you can tear off of. All right, but with the chaining, they want to make sure you don't destroy your, you don't scratch it. Okay, we're using multi-surface paint. So this goes on glass, metal, ceramic. See, I'm painting on glass with it. Um, and it can go on these plexiglasses. So what happens is you can put this indoor or outdoor. So it makes it really wonderful. And I want you to see um, what's going to happen. I have two different stencils because... I wanted, this is um, this one, all right? So you can do them going both ways, all right? So I stenciled white and then I added that. And I want you to see that we do really big ones because you know, I've done lots of branches and flowers and then put one big butterfly, all right? And the butterfly is the feature of the whole piece, but here's a large and small. And then here's side views. All right, all these are side views. And this one is a side view, but this wing's coming up. No, it's not a side view. This one is the side and this is coming up towards you. And then you shadow behind this and it makes it look like it's flying and flapping, okay? And then we have all the dragonflies on this one. This is number two. And number one has a, a kind of whimsical 
a side view, but we have Monarch, the Monarch, and we have a really big for featured, like I've done on Relax and Paint. I've done this big butterfly, and then I put branches and stuff in the background. It was really pretty. Um, and so it's large and uh, medium. Here's a large one, not quite as big. So there's two sizes of each one plus the side view. So I couldn't resist doing two because there's so many detail. Now, what people told me why I created this, they said, I know how to shadow like you shadow, but then none of my sides and, and wings end up being uniform. So they want them to look better. So making different sizes, you can then use a pencil, go around just in the outside edges and the body and the antennas, or you can also add the features with a pencil that you want to add. Okay. So that's how this was. And then, um, oh, I had it on another piece. Oh, that's how this one was. All right. I just drew it. All right. And this is how it looks when you stencil badly. See the goopy everywhere. So I'm going to show you today how to put this on here and get a nice look. Okay. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, I could do another one, but I think this one's fine. All right. So I'm going to make sure it fits. All right. The octagon was a little bit bigger, but this does fit here. All right. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm also using my stencil brushes. These are new. We sold out four times, got them back in. Finally, uh, it's been a long wait, but they're all in stock now. Um, there's three. So the difference in these stencil brushes I have than other stencil brushes is that these are synthetic nylon. So what's nice about them is that they don't slip under like the dry brush type ones. These really rough, dry ones slip underneath badly. All right. So this covers big areas really nicely. I mean, I'm telling you, this makes your, your job really quick if you want to stencil a fun background. All right. So these are all on the side. They're called stencil brushes and it's a three-piece set. Okay. 12, 16, and 20. All right. So what I want to do is this is all on onestroke.com. I, I don't know if I said this is on a surface, under surfaces or gallery glass. All right. But you're going to love these for Christmas ornaments. I'm just saying. All right. So I'm going to go in and you only need white on the tip, on the tips. Okay. See how much I did. All right. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to wipe off. Okay. That's the key right here, especially on non pore surfaces. You don't want to get this goop and I'll, I'll show you. It's going to give us a little bit of goopy <laughs> because of the plastic. All right, so your stencil brush goes left, right, left, right. And by doing both ways, you get all the crevices and the detail, okay? And there you go. So see my butterfly? Now what's going to happen is I'm going to have to paint my design. All right, I'm going to put this uh, brush up inside the paper towel so it doesn't dry out, okay? until I'm ready to use it. Then I'm going to take some colors in here. Now, I did white, citrus, and um, sap on that one. But what I'm going to show you on this one is I'm going to come in. I'm just using an eight brush. And I'm going to bring some white and magenta. And I want you to see on my um, Pinterest site, it's under, it's under one stroke. On the Pinterest side, look at all the pretty colors. All right. So all you do is go for this butterflies, dragonflies, and insects or whatever um, is, is how I have it listed. All right. So what I want to do is I'm going to come all in here. Okay. So where those lines are is where it will be the detail on the front. Okay. So we're going to come right in here. And I like to ombre. So people say, I can do the butterfly, but I can't get the shape to, to be nice on both sides. So I'm thinking that if you do this, it also gives you a compartmental areas to add more color, right? So I'm going to 
Let's come out here. Let's do this here. All right, we're going to put this. This paint works really good on the plexiglass and glass. See, I paint right on the glass. And it's called multi-surface paint. And it's great for multiple surfaces. Okay. All right. Now I do want, let's see, what is that pink? It has more black, but then it has some white areas. So you can come in here and add some white on both sides. Because remember where there's nothing is where you want to put some of that color. All right, so right in here. Okay. So that's pretty easy. You're just kind of picking up right in here. I want it to be white also. All right, and right in here. All right, now I'm just going to come in with just magenta and get a little bit of shading in here. So it's just like any butterfly that you want to design. I do all this and then I come back and do the line work. And if you don't feel good with the line work, just use the stencil line work, but the key is how you put it down. And I'm going to show you that right now. It's tricky, but it works if you do the right work with your stencil brush, okay? All right, so that's where we are so far, all right? So I think it'll look good with this hanging on your window, or you tie a bow, give it as a gift, and people can hang it anywhere they want to hang it, okay? All right, I just realized I missed some spots here. Okay. Oh, right there. I think I, I think I touched that with my finger. All right. So what's going to happen now is I did come a little bit more white over here. Okay, so this doesn't have to be super fancy, all right? Um, see the detail? I didn't do much detail. So what I want to do is, this is our new heat pan. And these just came in stock yesterday. Uh-oh. I dropped the drop there. So I'm going to have to, while that's drying, I'm going to get this pink and touch it in here. Yeah. All right. So... The only thing you don't want to do with this, if you sit there on glass or non porous surfaces and you hold it for a long time, you might make it blister. So move it around, okay? So now what I want to do is I'm going to get make a gray out of licorice. I use right in here, licorice in white. I got pink in there. I put an metallic gold in this one. Okay, so you can touch it to see. It looks shiny because it's got a sealer inside of it. So you just be careful with that. Now, this is what I want you to see. I'm going to lay this on here and match it back up. Okay, so there, there we are. And tip it till all the colors are back there. Now, this is the trick. It's a trick. <laughs> this is what you want to do. I went back to this, which had white. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of licorice and a little bit of white. Okay. So remember, you work it in. It's just on the tip. You come over to the paper towel and you work it off. All right, because it's non-porous, remember? All right, so what I want to do is I want to come in here and go left and right. Remember what I said, left and right. Okay, and I want you to check left and right. All right, to check, you hold this down tight and you just lift. See, is that good enough for you? Yeah. Okay, so then I'm going to come over here. 
left and right. Now I'm going to make the body darker. Okay, now if you take this paint off, see how that brush can still do the whole piece without getting any more? Okay, but now it's going to need, you can lift it off, but then you have to replace it. Okay, so I'm deciding to go with a little bit more licorice, wipe it off, and then I'm going to do the, the antennas and the body. Okay, so now this one, which you see, I just want to hit the tips of up here and the tips here. Okay, and maybe one little corner down here. Now magic, there we go. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? So there's what you're going to get. Very quick and easy. If you don't like the spots where they don't connect, then that's where you would just come in with your liner and add more. So go have fun with my stencils. We've got stencil one and stencil two, and this is the Be Kind stencil. It's got all of these fun things. And check out the surfaces. You're going to love them. Big surfaces. You can make a whole scene. I've done all kinds of uh, paintings on these and having fun. The paint stays on it really well. And I can't wait to see you. Um, and it's Thanksgiving now. I don't know what time you're watching this, but have a great holiday. And see you next time.